What's up everybody, Steven Tequila here bringing another reaction. Now today's reaction is going to be a double feature. We're going to be watching two animation rewind fights that I have not done. And they came out a couple weeks ago. <sighs> so the first one we we're watching is an interesting one. And it's a rematch. Minecraft Steve versus Roblox character. Um... I, I, I kind of think, uh, I kind of think that my, if my memory serves, Steve won last time, so, I'm thinking I'm gonna stick with Steve, who knows, plus I played a lot more Minecraft than I played, uh, Roblox. And uh, also, guys, if you guys haven't checked it out, I've been posting new gameplay on my channel, aka Resident Evil 5, and something that's going to be posted after this video, so check that out or stay tuned for that. Uh, almost! What? <laughs> but, um, yeah, today uh, we are watching two videos, but before we get into that, I will also say one more thing. Um, for getting, we're only, uh, I think, a little bit over 200 subscribers away from hitting 13,000 subscribers. So, for the next couple days, I'll be promoting this. Oh, that's my phone. Sorry. I'll be promoting this, uh, but I will be doing a Q&A. Who is this? Okay. Um, I'll be doing a Q&A. So, in this video and the next one, and maybe a few more, please leave your questions for that Q&A. And if they don't get answered in this Q&A because of the overwhelming amount of questions, maybe I'll do another one uh, sometime afterwards. If I get a certain amount, I'm going, because I don't want the video to be fucking forever, but I want it to be a decent length. And, uh, yeah. Thought I would let you guys know that. So, as I was saying, we're going to be watching Minecraft Steve versus Roblox, and then the other fight is Sethroth versus Mangus or Magus. I, uh, I I I don't know how to pronounce that correctly, and I will probably learn while watching the fight. But the first fight we're going to get into and enjoy is going to be Minecraft Steve versus Roblox. By the way, both videos are in the description. Links there. You guys can go check out the original content. Check out Animation Rewind Fights. He has over 140 fights. Uh, or no, he actually only has about 140 right now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you've not seen, that, uh, seen any of his content before, I would really recommend you guys checking it out either before or after this video that you're watching right now. And subscribe to Animation Rewind. Like some of his videos if you really enjoy it. So, without any more delay, let's get into this fight and enjoy this fight right now. I was really off key right there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, let me know who you think is going to win in this fight. Um, I'm going to choose Minecraft Steve because I believe I could be wrong. It's been a while since I saw that fight. Here, God, is that an old fight, too? But I believe Roblox What's up, everyone? Lost. Welcome to the 135th episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind, and tonight we've got a rematch. So if you haven't seen part one, go do that first. But if you have and you know how the game is played, it's been a little bit, but I, I did see part one. Fight. Tonight's Cartoon Fight Club animator is El Cheetahman YT. So if you enjoy Ooh. what you see, head on over to his channel this and subscribe. This is a new animation Speaking channel. Speaking of tonight's battle, we've got the fight between Minecraft Steve okay. and the Roblox Roblox. You guys didn't Roblox hear that. I think a cat was just screaming outside. One, go do that first. Damn cat but if fights. you have, then let's introduce Cartoon oh, Fight Club's 135th round of fighters. I apologize. The Robloxian is back, but this time he's no longer a noob. He has experience under his belt and an assortment of weapons and gadgets to ah, assist okay. him in battle. As a Robloxian, there is no one specific set or mold he's uh, represented I'm guessing by. Roblox the Robloxian has is a very customizable and player-based character. With that being said, it's still a good idea to equip him with the best Roblox gear possible. 
Before we get into weaponry, don't forget I have played that he a little has bit of Roblox in Xbox One. Make him a Not too house. much. He is fast enough to dodge gunfire, can sprint as long as he needs without getting tired, and can carry up to 50,000 pounds of equipment. His signature sword is the Illumina. This sword is yeah, very but that's light, nothing compared to the strength of freaking Minecraft Steve. during combat. It is sharp enough to kill an average foe within one to three swings. He is also skilled enough to wield a dual set of swords during combat. The Robloxian also has okay, a the dual wielding is pretty impressive. At disposal. With the heat-seeking missile launcher, he can lock onto any target and send a guided missile their way. If hit in the right okay, spot, this missile, missile launcher guiding, has enough explosive that's gonna be pretty force tough to destroy for enemies Minecraft with a single handle. blast. The missile launcher is great for slower and more explosive attacks, but if the Robloxian wants a fast-paced attack weapon, a good choice would be the Tri-Blaster 333. With this, he can fire three light speed Damn, I don't remember him having coil. this weaponry. However, if the Robloxian wants a combination of both speed and strength, the Knights of the Splintered Sky, aka the Wind Summoning Horn, is the weapon of choice. This weapon is a pure powerhouse. With a single swift, six giant gusts of wind will rain from the sky and destroy nearly anything in its path. Entire buildings, city blocks, and groups of enemies can be wiped away with the power of this horn. And then there is wow. the scroll of the seven list. It is the ultimate explosive mechanism to use during the heat of battle. It sends an entire line of cluster bombs right before your eyes. It can be pointed Damn. anywhere and sent at any direction. Overall, the Robloxian is no longer a noob. He is fully equipped with weaponry technology and still possesses all of the physical stats from his base form. From Roblox to Minecraft, let's discuss Steve. The mysterious Minecrafter is back. The story of Steve is a really empty and generic one, but that yeah. certainly doesn't stop him from holding many unique traits that separate him from the crowd. As a miner in the Minecraft overworld, Damn, diamond it is Steve's swords with the brain to be well equipped for adventuring and protecting himself Although, in the wild. Although, Ender Dragon is really well not that easy to kill really like that. <laughs> the heaviest possible load Steve can carry equates to nearly 4.4 billion pounds. And while holding all of this weight, he can still maneuver and sprint as if he was carrying nothing. This miner yeah. is also pretty good at brewing as he can whip up many different potions for his adventuring needs. Some include the ah, potion okay, of swiftness, so now we're bringing which increases in, uh, the speed, the potion of this fire potion and stuff, which so we're going to have more of uh, attacks, potion of leaping, which all right, that makes it a little bit more balanced against damage, those guns and stuff like that. The potion of strength, which increases his strength, the potion of water breathing, which allows him to breathe underwater, yeah, and there's the a lot of potions of too, which turns him invisible. Steve also has regeneration and healing potions to heal his this wounds. Is also going to be a speed one of the bet. primary potions. He also has negative potions. Such as the potion of poison, is that a fucking gun in Minecraft? I'm not. Well, uh, is, is it like actually in Minecraft, or is that a mod? That's probably a mod. Enemies' physical stats dramatically. Steve also carries bombs and TNT, which he can plant and use as explosives. These bombs are strong enough to blow through most minerals and matter. Steve also has an assortment of arrows and weaponry to use during combat against creeps, zombies, and the Ender Dragon. Steve's strongest armor and weapon is the diamond armor and diamond sword. The diamond sword is made up of the strongest material being yeah. diamond and can easily kill another player within four hits. The diamond armor vastly increases Steve's durability, allowing him to survive direct arrow shots and stabs. Overall, yeah. Minecraft Steve has superior strength, intellect, and raw power. Average speed, above average durability, and a will to never give up. And now let's get ready for the fight. I think Steve's still fight. gonna pull this the win. This battle will take place in the Minecraft overworld with no. Ah, uh, okay. Let the battle begin. Let's get in this fight. Holy shit! This animation looks so fucking sweet. Wow. Really nicely done. Sorry I couldn't get to these fights sometimes. Uh, couldn't get to these fights sooner. Oh, that's kind of cool and creepy at the same time. With that fucking smiley ass face. Okay, Ender Pearls teleport him. 
I'm shocked that he was actually able to like t uh, hold on to the. Um... Wow, this is so good. I'm gonna get distracted with how nice this animation is. Oh. Oh fuck! Minecraft Steve can dual wield! I know there were some mods, but I didn't know that that came into this is gonna come into play. Oh he got he got one of Steve's swords. Holy shit, and this fucking music is intense and epic as fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh no, Minecraft Steve. Oh! Damn, Roblox got the upper hand and fucked Steve in the face with his own sword. It looks like the Robloxian finally got his revenge. Now, before we discuss why he wins, I want to give a shout out to the animator El Chico okay, YT. Then. If you enjoyed what you saw, head on over to his channel. So I'm guessing and also and that by that word, for many got reasons. finally got his revenge. Steve so that means fight, that Steve won last round, like I thought. Too primitive to keep up with all of the Robloxian's high-tech weaponry. While Steve has arrows, the Robloxian has laser guns. While Steve has plantable bombs, Robloxian has launchable missiles. While Steve has potions, the Robloxian has a wind summoning horn and the scroll of sevenless. Steve has the Dear advantage God. of strength yeah. and a slight durability edge, but the Robloxian is far too fast and well equipped to bombard Steve with an overwhelmingly level of firepower that Steve just can't keep up with. The Robloxian is fast enough to dodge bullets, and we've never seen Steve go remotely this fast meaning there's a very good chance that he can be blitzed by an array of firepower that he just won't see coming. Steve's potions will that I can believe, yeah. Fight, but they aren't something that's going to flip the scale against the Robloxian. Damn, Simply I was wrong on this fight, Robloxian, though. <laughs> his overwhelming arsenal and his heavy speed advantage, making the winner of this fight the Robloxian. And since the score is all tied up with one win apiece, if you want to see a two-on-two -two sudden death between Ooh. Steve and Hero Brian versus the noob and a developed Robloxian, all you gotta do is like this video if this yeah if you guys want that to happen go hit the likes, original link in the description go death. to the original also, video and don't like forget that to comment video down your own ideas for future episodes and stay tuned because the next fighters are going to be revealed all right guys you're just going to get straight into the next fight we know who the next fighters are and i'm going to get into that one uh pretty soon as well it was one punch man versus godzilla uh but we're going to get into the next fight that is in this double feature fight of uh, a video so give me one second let me get the video ready and we are going to enjoy this video um, also my thoughts on this fight I really don't know much of either of these characters I don't know any of the information uh, I don't know too much of their strengths the one I really don't know is the one I really can't pronounce uh, the most would be Magus from what it looks like Chrono Trigger. I, I don't know that character whatsoever. I know Satharoth is a evil asshole from Final Fantasy. He has a long fucking sword. He stabbed one of the main chi uh, chick characters that was friends um, with um, Cloud, I believe. Uh, and a lot of people love that or hate that scene because of how iconic or it's confusing. People think it was uh, one of the most holy shit moments in gaming, and uh, because I guess a, a little bit on that side, Sethroth maybe will be the one I'm going for. So, without any more delay, link again in the description for both fights we watched, uh, and we're going to enjoy this fight right now. Alright. Bum, 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 bum. God damn, what's with my hair? What the hell's with this one strand of hair that won't stay down? Ah! That bugs me. 
What's up, everyone? Welcome to the 130. Yeah, it's almost time for me probably to get a haircut. Some of the fucking I'm hair is like standing up. And I hate Rewind. that. And if you're new to this series, just check out the Justice League. Like, I won't get a bad haircut one. like That's I did before. God damn, I hated that but fucking if you know haircut. How the game is played, and they're going to that barber again. He cut it way too fucking short. Tonight's episode was animated by Vegito1089. So if you enjoy, okay, this I remember this animator. And subscribe. Speaking of tonight's battle, we have a fight between Sephiroth and... I believe he's animated before. It sounds like a very familiar name. Who is this guy? Sephiroth versus who? 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 Oh, God. You fucking did a freaking... Uh, who? What you get that, bro? Huh? Yeah, FoozyTube. A FoozyTube meme here. The owl really himself. Looks like some two-bit wannabe Dragon Ball character, but give me a minute. Let me find out who this guy is. I'll be back. A few <laughs> moments later. This guy is Magus or Magus from Chrono Trigger. Okay, Magus or Magus. There's no official Magus. pronunciation, so whichever floats your boat, you can go with. So with all this yeah. being said, let's whatever floats your boat, guys. If I pronounce it wrong, fuck it. Doesn't matter. Round of fighters. Sephiroth is one of the main antagonists in everyone's favorite RPG that's not Undertale. Final <laughs> Fantasy. But he was once a good dude with good aspirations. He and I will be getting to Undertale soon, guys. Once I'm soldier, done with uh, was Bobo's Big Adventure this his month. Accomplishments. However, Mr. Nice Sephiroth didn't last long as he soon fell from grace. This started to happen when he started to realize who and where he originated from. He started to go a bit cuckoo to say the least. He was believing many tinfoil level ideas that he was one of the last of the ancients and then he slowly but surely started getting more and more insane and now is a full-blown psychopath honestly the so graphics and stuff are really good in final fantasy mom, but i believe this might also be stuff uh, that we're watching right here might be his from one of the final mother, fantasy Paul movies i know they've done some final fantasy uh so 3d powers? uh well, for starters, style movies and my sister was really into them to give him superhuman strength and reflexes so i've seen her watch his signature move is known as the supernova. This ability deals large amounts of non-elemental Yeah, she was the one that was into Final Fantasy. I wasn't really that much into it. send destruction even into other dimensions. Now, whether or not Sephiroth was bluffing is up for debate. But one thing is for sure, it's not something you want to find out if this blast is directly hitting you. He is also a master swordsman who can levitate Damn. mind illusions, and if the minds of his targets are weak enough, he can control them at will. Now, Sephiroth himself can be seen as someone who is extremely mentally unstable. If you tamper with his emotions, you can trigger a soft spot and have him lose control of his decisions. To add on to that, he greatly underestimates his opponents and enjoys holding back during fights. This can usually be wow. extremely detrimental that sword. to his plan. That sword Overall, length is real. <laughs> Sephiroth is an expert swordsman and full-blown psychopath. His signature move is the supernova. I'm kind of liking um, of my issues. choice, though. From one RPG villain to another, let's discuss Magus. Magus is an antagonist from the RPG game known as Chrono Trigger. Chromosome Trigger, I mean Chrono Trigger, stars a wannabe time-traveling Trunks knockoff that looks like a ginger <laughs> Oh my god, I do Chrono. recognize that character. Honest, I've seen a couple, not played them, Chrono but I've seen a couple of the games with the cases of them. And original characteristics and fully developed stories. Prime example is Magus himself, who is a time-traveling wizard warlord who fights anthropomorphic, sentient, fully clothed frogs. If that's not original, what? nothing is. Magus was originally known as Janus, but after a little bit of time travel and becoming the leader of the Mystic's army, Janus changed his name to Magus after developing himself into a powerful magic user. He is a master of magic oh, wow. and knows many texts. Some of these include fire, ice, lightning, dark bombs, magical barriers, dark mist, black hole magic. Yeah, and I, re dark I recognize magic. Uh, those graphics. Those are like uh, freaking Game Boy graphics from like Game Boy Advance or SP, I believe. With these, or it could be DS. I could be wrong. Tech, Magus can use dark magic to send his foes into black holes and damage them heavily with black magic. Magus is also a pretty solid sword and scythe wielder and is faced twice in the game as an enemy. The first time as a boss of the Finn Lord's Keep in 600 AD, the second Black is an optional battle on North magic. Cape. Because Dark Magus magic. is element Matter shadow, magic. he is vulnerable to light That's gonna be damage. probably his Though best stuff boss, right there. Not have or elemental of darkness. Due to his barrier change tactic. Overall, Magus is a magic wielder who has mastered the art of dealing with dark magic and black holes. However, he is vulnerable to light elemental damage. 
Uh, now let's get ready for the fight. <laughs> All right, this, this is gonna be an interesting fight. No it's gonna be hard to beat that last animation we watched, but I'm still looking forward to the, this one. Plus, I have a couple of fans who've been really, really, really requesting me watching this one. I am the ruler of the planet. Ah, okay. It's gonna be this style of animation. Nice. Bad guy versus bad guy. Asshole versus asshole. Who's gonna win? The bigger asshole. Or the crazier one, which that's who I'm voting for. Let us make Although the, the fact that he never goes all out at the beginning, that's gonna give that other guy a chance. Oh, this is seriously like um, freaking uh, Street Fighter or like not Street Fighter, but you know the side-to-side -side combat style animation, which is really good. That's the best you can do. Oh. Although you don't really hear, you didn't hear too much about their durability, so. Sephiroth can dodge and uh, take on his magic. I think Sephiroth can definitely pull the win here. Ooh, fireball in the face. What? You thought you could win? What? Oh no, you pissed him off. Now he's not gonna hold back anymore. And that Dragon Ball Z sound effect. Oh, he's going ham. Ooh, dark matter just hit him right in the face. Again. Ruination to all. Oh, damn! You call that lightning spell? I'll show you a real one. What? Oh, fuck. But there's still that one technique uh, that they sh uh, that he showed. I think we'll pull the win. Unless this took him out? No, it, it definitely didn't. Oh! Okay, something tells me this is gonna be his ultimate move here. That's enough. Oh shit, here we go. Impaled? Oh, he dodged it! Okay, this guy's a good match for Sethiroth. I probably pronounced that wrong. I don't care. <laughs> you will die. Oh shit. Oh, Final Fantasy fans are not going to be happy. Damn, I was not expecting that, but there was still a chance that this guy would win. And he did. He pulled through. We're gonna have to find out how what was the reasonings. Be prepared for the Final Fantasy hate. <laughs> so the black hole mage and the supernova psychopath got into a fight and the black hole mage won. Now before we discuss why, I want to give a shout out to the animator Vegito. That was a good animation, bro. If you enjoyed bro. what you saw, head on over to his channel. Good and fucking subscribe. job. And the winner is Magus. The biggest symbolic difference between Magus and Sephiroth is based on their main strengths. And in turn, they both are completely opposites from each other. Sephiroth is a much better sword combatant while being relatively average at magic. 
Mages, on the other hand, is an average swordsman, and on the flip side, he's an extraordinary magic user. And with this comes okay. the very question, which skill is more useful in a fight like this? Hand-to-hand -hand combat or range magic? And everyone knows that magic has a much better variety and is much more unpredictable than hand-to-hand -hand combat. This that also is becomes true. a major factor when you realize that Sephiroth is supernova and Magus's dark matter magic and eternal darkness triple tech can pretty much cancel each other out. Now this isn't some curse. Ah, Sephiroth okay. will give Magus a very, very good run for his money. But at the end, the Black Matter technique, which is an ability that distorts time and space in an area of the user's choosing, he can easily send that magic towards Sefi's way and get this thing sealed. Now, if you want to see a yeah. two on two, okay, I can believe all that. In Cloud versus Magus and Kronos, all you gotta do is ah, like okay. this video. Yeah, if, if you guys want that, 10, link in the description. Like always, go like also, the original video. Feel free to comment down below your own ideas for future episodes, and stay tuned because uh, this was a good one. This was a good one. To be revealed. And please don't hate me when I announce the next fighters. This next match is super highly requested, and it's only it's probably fair a to Sans fight. appreciate the majority vote. With that being said... I was right. It was Sans versus Deadpool, which is on his channel, and I've already done a reaction to that one. So check it out if you guys want. But overall, very good fight. Very entertaining. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a very long video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed my double featureness. I'm gonna start doing that just to try to catch up. Um, so next few fights will definitely be coming your way, unless a new fight is released sometime soon, which I'm betting. No animation rewind. A new fight is just around the corner sometime soon. So without any more, um, hope you guys check out anything else on my channel. Um, Resident Evil 5. Um, anything I post, I guess. And maybe even check out my unboxing and or Christmas special. So until next time, guys. Punch that like button. Almost forgot. And uh, subscribe. Until next time, guys. Later. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want more, check out the description below. Hope to see you guys in a later video. Also, have an awesome day.